Hi, everyone. This is going to be kind of jam-packed full of stuff. First of all, um, I want to update you all on the CPAP machine because that's one of the most important things that I told you that I would tell you about. Um, well, the company declined twice to give me a free one so they can only sell us a refurbished one. They're usually three hundred dollars. Uh, she got it down to two hundred. And somebody donated a hundred dollars in the company or for the company. I'm not sure how that worked. I don't know who it was. My brother's given fifty and I need fifty more. So I'm working to try to find that to get that done so I can get this machine. The place said that they would um, give me the hose, the mask, the filters, and calibrate it for me. So all of that will be done. I just need $50. So I'm hoping that I can either get some friends together here or something. I'm going to figure it out. Um, because for the past three or four days, I have done nothing but sleep, but I'm not really sleeping. Um, I, even when I'm eating, I'm chewing my food, falling asleep. I'm completely to the physical and mental state of exhaustion. I can't even explain to you how tired I, I am. I, I mean, I just, my body is so tired and weak, I don't even want to go to the bathroom and pee. That's being honest. I haven't ate too much because I don't feel like fixing it. Um, that's just where I'm at right now. And I hope that I can get this together to where I can get this machine next week or <clears throat> something because I can't, I can't, I can't continue to live like this. Absolutely cannot. Um, I got, finally got the letter stating that I can't work for my counselor. I got it today. So I was pretty happy about that. I'm going to reapply for Medicaid because I was too late getting my stuff in because I didn't have this letter. And so I'm going to have to reapply for Medicaid. Still haven't heard anything from Disability Appeal. Um, <clears throat> let's see. Uh, I went to, um, for those of you who don't know, I think I said on my last video or the video before that in the town I used to live in, that my neighbor that had been our neighbor for a long, long time passed away. And it brought back so many memories of losing my dad and mom. It was really hard. Plus, my dad's five-year anniversary was just the other day. Um, I always admired this couple because they've been married for 40-some years, 45 years, I believe. And I remember when I was a little girl that she would always kiss him for work every day never failed at 210 she would kiss him for work give him a hug and tell him bye every single day at least six days a week and I, I always wanted that that was something that I admired so much that their love was that strong so when I went to the showing of her husband uh, I went up there and she said, Elizabeth, and I said, yeah. She goes, do you remember how you used to admire the fact that I would kiss Roger every day before he'd go to work and how you always wanted that? And I said, yes. And she said, I'm going to have to kiss him for the last time tomorrow. And man, I just started crying. That's so sad. It is like, you know, these couples that are married for years that love each other so much and then one of them goes, that was like my parents. My dad grieved himself to death because he was so lost without my mom. 
but that was sad and you know made me upset for a while you know it was just ugh. but anyway um my brother came over today to take out my trash and uh, I talked to him about the CPAP machine and he told me that, you know, if he had the whole hundred, he would give it to me, but he couldn't. So he was going to give me the 50. I was so happy about that because it's just, it's wonderful to have a brother that cares so much and just doesn't expect anything in return, you know, it was just really nice. And... Uh, this weekend I'm going to my brother's house and I'm going to see all the kids and the new great niece. I've got a great niece. I was going to put a picture of her here on YouTube and my, my niece would rather me not. So I'm, I can't do that. Just know that she's beautiful and lovely and her, her aunt sissy loves her. Um, survivor I was disgusted because first of all like I said I was a Russell fan I thought he did what he had to do to get to the end and I thought he did it well I mean almost everybody on there lies and cheats and steals and you know that's how you get to the to the end of the game so I I just and it was proof that he won the fan favorite, you know, because he, I think, honestly, in the history of Survivor, him playing back-to-back -back games, he was the best player. Because if somebody won, if he wanted someone out, they were gone. <clears throat> I was really impressed. Uh, I just took a shower. My hair's all wet, so that's why it looks like it does. Um, <clears throat> I watched American Idol tonight. It was awesome. Um, well, and I watched it last night. They were so good. And I loved all the three that was there. But, you know, I was really rooting for Lee. Because Lee, Lee is awesome in my book. I love his humbleness. And <clears throat> he's really, really good. Um, <clears throat> I will continue to let you all know what's going on with the CPAP thing. Uh, and also when I get it, you guys will be like one of the first to know because I'm going to be so happy. I'm going to sleep for three days <laughs> and I'm not kidding. Um, but I think that's all I have for you. It took me eight minutes to get all that out, but at least I covered everything. And um, I love you all tremendously. Thank you all so much for being there. I love the messages. Thanks to new, thank you to the new subscribers. I hope that you like my channel. Um, I just, I'm so glad that I'm back. And, you know, I, I'm hoping that you'll hear from me quite a bit. And I, I'm really trying. But I love you all and have a good night. Mwah.